I recently created the Hetzner Cloud Server and I want to enable a more secure login than I currently have. And I currently logged in, as you can see, with the user pass. This is good, I not even I remember my password. And my first step is to create another user and disable login via root. And root is not good because uh, root has all of the permissions. It can be accessed, but not directly. Our user will be named, I don't know, Fubar. And we'll add him to sudors. So he can sudo when we log in and find, find, find this line under user privilege specification, add your user and copy this line and save it. Now let's try logging in with our new created user. Okay. Now next step is instead of the user logging in with the password, I want to disable the password login. And I can do that by creating a certificate and enabling login over SSH. So let's first create our certificate. Remember the location of your certificate on your server. Prepare the directory and file to store authorized keys. This is important because remote server will look at the authorized keys to create a challenge that will, it will send back to the client server. We created an authorized keys file. Remember that public key that we just created. We will paste it to the authorized keys file on the remote server. Now let's try logging in again to our server. Now look at that, it didn't ask for the password. This is not over because this server connection is not secure. Root is still able to log in. We'll change a couple of configuration keys in the SSH config. Sorry, it needs to be done with sudo. Now what you can do over here is uncomment this line and change to some other port so it doesn't use the connection doesn't use the default port 22 and this is just to avoid the spamming the ssh on your server first we want to disable the root login and we want to disable the password authentication and authentication will only be via SSH. So I'll comment this line pub key authentication. Let's find the password authentication. Change this to no. We don't want to allow empty password login. And we want to allow login to the specific users. Not all of them. Okay, it's not here. Add it to the end. And last thing before restarting SSH, let's check that the configuration is okay. If it wasn't okay, we would receive an error here. And restart SSH. And great, it's restarted. Let's try one final test. I will try to initiate a user password login. And I will do that by moving my 
private key to some other place. And if user password login was enabled, the server should ask me for the password, but instead it says permission denied, and that is because we disabled the user password login. Let's return the private key where it belongs. And great, I can log in to my remote server. And this video covers the tutorial for enabling passwordless login to your remote server.